Let me say at the outset that I do believe we are set for better times. The cycle of global economic growth is turning for the better. Many of the steps we have taken to address our domestic constraints are coming into play. India's own growth momentum will revive. An important development in the year that has gone by is the demonstration of the strength of our democracy. Our people have demonstrated their faith in the institutions of democracy by voting in record numbers in the recent assembly elections. Our party did not do well in these elections, but we welcome the extent of participation and we will reflect on what the results tell us for the future and learn appropriate lessons. Our democratic constitution and the institutions of our democracy are the cornerstones of modern India. All of us who wish to build a better India, rid of poverty and corruption, must respect these institutions and work through them. They are the legitimate instruments in our hands with all their limitations. No one individual or authority can substitute for the due processes of democratic governments. Friends, over the past decade, we have been through many ups and downs. During my first term in office, India witnessed for the first time in its recorded history a sharp acceleration of the rate of economic growth to 9%. This exceptional performance was followed by a slowdown initiated by the global financial crisis. Over the past couple of years, all emerging economies have experienced a slowdown. India was no exception. Economies have ups and downs, and we should not focus overtly, overly on the short term. We should recognize that even if we include the years of slowdown, the rate of growth achieved in the past nine years is the highest for any nine-year period. And it is not just the acceleration of growth that gives me satisfaction. Equally important is the fact that we made the growth process more socially inclusive than it has ever been. In 2004, I committed our government to what I said would be a new deal for rural India. I believe we have delivered on that promise very substantially. We followed former friendly policies, including raising support prices for farm produce, expanding credits to farmers, and through increased investment in horticulture, in rural development, and rural infrastructure, especially roads and electricity. The Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme has assured agricultural labor of a floor and has increased their bargaining power. Improved delivery of health and education services is giving new hope to our brothers and sisters living in rural areas of our country. These initiatives have ensured that agricultural GDP has grown faster than ever before. India has become one of the world's largest producers of food grains, sugar, fruits and vegetables, 
milk and poultry. Rural wages have increased in real terms much faster than earlier. Rural real consumption per capita has increased four times faster. Because of these developments, the percentage of the population below the poverty line has fallen much faster in the period 2004 to 2011 than it did in the previous 10-year period. As a result, the number of people below the poverty line has come down by 13.8 crores.